Put the major averages on pace for 20% or so gains this year, but our next guest sees more opportunities outside a traditional portfolio of stocks and bonds. Lori Goodman is the Global Head of Investment and Wealth Solutions at Jefferies. She's here at Post 9. Good to see you. Hi, nice Thanks to see you too. Um, first with the premise of, let's say, you know, you're an investor, uh, long-term time horizon, the traditional mix of 60% equities, 40% bonds. Um, I mean, it's come in for some stress over the last couple of years, but why would you say that that's not enough? Uh, at this point. Yeah, I mean, I think we've been in an era of complacency. If you look from the period of the global financial crisis up until one blip in 2022, the 60-40 portfolio really worked. But if you look, that period was also anomalous in that we were in a low and declining interest rate environment. If you think that the that the populist agenda, which really got Trump elected, and, and the rhetoric that he has around it related to tariffs, related to immigrant deportation, um, you know, it's hard not to imagine that there could be an inflation spike. If there is an inflation spike, the 60-40 portfolio breaks down. Mm -hmm. Equities and bonds correlate, and they correlate to the downside. So what we're really looking for are what are ways that we can help clients uh, preserve capital, compound capital in any environment, because we don't know what's going to happen with inflation. So you're essentially looking for a more durable inflation hedge or a source of returns that can perform in that type of environment. Where does that bring you specifically? Sure. Uh, so we focus a lot on alternative investments. Uh, private credit has been a very interesting space for some time. And we really like to play in the part of the market that's relatively liquid. Um, you know, we haven't been on the side that a lot of wealth has been on where they're going into the semi-liquid products. We think that those structures are complicated. They're untested in a major liquidity crisis. Uh, but we still want to have liquidity. We want to have have liquidity inside of three years so that as markets change you can be dynamic with your portfolios and so in that in that vein we found really interesting opportunities in asset-based lending so inventory receivables and things like that where you have the benefit if there's inflation then these uh, assets will benefit from that mm -hmm. uh, but also the loans are floating rate so if rates come up you're gonna get that benefit as well uh, we like we like strategies that are focusing on infrastructure with operating assets. Um, and, and we've been continuing to look at private credit broadly and direct lending. And when you say you would kind of look for these structures that are more liquid, you so see you have a manager that says, OK, you can actually have uh, access more frequently or, or is it is it actually a traded product? So it's that there's access uh, more yeah. readily available. So we're sure. really, really careful to avoid asset liability mismatch. Yeah. Uh, we saw what that did to the hedge fund industry during the GFC. Uh, we saw what that did to some of the some of the banks in the U.S. very recently. Sure. Um, and so, you know, we want there to be real liquidity in the underlying assets. And we want the, the liquid terms of those funds to match that. Do your investors kind of buy into the idea that they ought to be in principal protection mode right now. I'm really looking for signs that people have gotten excited about the returns. I mean, three years, uh, you know, maybe not that great in terms of equity performance, but every other time period, it's mid-teens or better pretty much if you go until you go back to 20 years. And yet bonds have done not much of anything. So I'm kind of curious about the idea that if you had a 60-40, it's the bonds you should be worried about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, it's a fair point. Our clients are coming to us. We work with a lot of family offices yeah. and we're working with them on a case by case basis. A lot of the clients that are coming to us are focused on co capital preservation and compounding. You know, markets are markets are strong and they've been strong. And, you know, you have to realize that that if markets continue to be on this tear, uh, you may give up some of the upside if you're diversifying. But for clients who want to really focus on that capital preservation and compounding, uh, we're really recommending this diversified approach.